It's a mouthful, but lower lid blepharoplasty is really just surgical rejuvenation of wrinkles and bags on the lower eyelids. The benefits of lower lid blepharoplasty are to give the patient a more youthful, less tired, less hollow appearance on the lower eyelids. We use a few guiding principles to achieve our goal of a natural and safe result for lower lid surgery. We preserve volume where possible, not removing too much tissue or fat and hollowing the patient out. And we also preserve the muscle that gives the eye a natural blink so that patients have a natural result and maintain eye comfort after surgery as well. We can tailor the technique for the patient's specific needs. Often we can do this surgery from an internal approach through the inside of the eyelid and either remove or reposition the fat to give a more youthful appearance. In addition, if patients have excess skin, we utilize the pinch technique, which removes a small amount of skin but preserves the orbicularis muscle, which is important to maintain the position of the lower eyelid. As specialists in eyelid surgery, we can avoid many of the common complications uh, of lower eyelid surgery such as ectropion where the lower eyelid is pulled down or lid retraction and inability to completely close the eyes. We are specialists in eyelid surgery. This is about all we do and we can do it better than most physicians. The candidates for lower eyelid blepharoplasty are patients that have bags, excess wrinkles of the lower eyelid, or areas of depression in the lower eyelid that are not cosmetically uh, attractive. The healing process from lower eyelid surgery is usually one to two weeks. If there are sutures, we remove the sutures in a week. Many of the patients have no sutures when the technique is done from the inside of the lower eyelid. All the bruising and swelling usually is improved uh, by two to four weeks. Before lower lid blepharoplasty, patients should avoid any medications either over-the-counter or prescribed that may thin the blood, such as aspirin, ibuprofen, or Coumadin. Recovery after lower lid surgery varies based on the procedure, but most patients have some bruising and swelling for one to two weeks, and then the healing process continues for about one to two months after that. We usually recommend that patients ice their eyes and keep their head elevated for the first two days to minimize swelling, but can go about their regular activities of daily living, usually immediately. The only restrictions are to avoid strenuous activity and heavy lifting for two weeks. Most patients have lower lid blepharoplasty in the outpatient surgical setting where they're either asleep or relaxed and local anesthesia is placed in the eyelids. Patients usually go home the same day and follow up one week after surgery for any suture removal. 